How you guys doing? My name is Anthony Ciappone with Chauvet Professional. I want to show you some options for control. Um, there are generally two different options. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Pixel mapping softwares. Uh, there's various options out there, whether it's Archaeus or Hippo or Resolume or Media Master. These are all good solutions. Um, for this example, we have Resolume running behind me. Um, all of the fixtures on the desk behind me are running off Resolume. Um, let me show off one of the biggest advantages of this. You have a visual GUI for all of your fixture mapping. As you can see here, um, each fixture can be laid out and repositioned within my video mapping on the fly. Um, what this basically means is that you're going to have high accuracy um, for mapping your video content across different fixtures. Um, this is also going to look really impressive with high contrast vectored images running on these. Um, another advantage, if you actually have a whole setup, it's completely programmed, and let's say you want to add in a couple fixtures here and there, you don't need to reprogram any of your video content. Just add them into the mapping, address your fixtures, and you're good to go. No changes need to be made on that, on that front. Let's look at some of the cons. Um, if you're using a pixel mapping system, you need to have a well-prepared library um, catered to this type of uh, application. Um, this is not something that you're going to be able to set up on the fly. Um, you actually need to spend several hours programming and addressing your rig. Um, so it's not going to be good for rentals and one-off events that don't have a large load-in time. This is not going to be something that gives you the option to uh, create looks and adjust your looks really quickly on the fly. It's going to be time consuming to do that sort of thing. Um, and then finally, if you're using a dedicated pixel mapping system, that also means that you still have to have your lighting control system. So that's two discrete systems that you now need to integrate into your show, it means two discrete operators. So that just meant your crew grew that much larger. Um, so these are things that you really need to consider when planning your event. All right, so here I want to present an alternate option to the typical pixel mapping software out there. Um, you can actually use your lighting controller that you use for all your wash lights, spots, and movers. Um, a lot of your lighting desks are going to give you a lot more universes available, so you can actually hook up your pixel products and your multifunction products directly to it. In fact, I'm doing that right here. So behind me, I'm actually operating uh, the MQ70. This is running on the Magic Q platform, and we have all of our different product types here. We have our uh, direct view uh, dedicated pixel products, and then we have our higher powered multifunction products. Um, one of the things that is really helpful when using your lighting desk directly, um, it's going to be a lot faster in your setup. Patch everything. Um, if you don't have a profile in your console for your uh, Pixel products, just go ahead and patch them as generic profiles, whether it's an RGB or an RGBW, RGBA, whatever it is, a generic Pixel profile is going to work just fine. Um, you're also going to have the ability to uh, mix and match you know, multi-function products with your dedicated pixel products a lot easier than a pixel mapping software is going to be able to do for you. Um, what I have here is I have everything running on a single look. You see? Um, I have the pixel products running at direct intensity, the dedicated pixel products. And I've put each of my multi-function products on separate uh, intensity inhibitor, inhibitor faders. Um, so right here, I, you can see, so that's my Maverick MK3 wash. That's my baton right there, okay? Um, and this right here is my solo baton, all right? Um, and this is going to be really useful depending on the content that you're running. You may have to adjust some of your uh, master intensities on the fly. You're not going to need uh, two different operators, uh, one for your lighting desk and one for your pixel mapping software it can be the same operator. So it's going to be a lot more streamlined for your crew. Um, in addition to that, you're not going to need any video library. What I'm doing behind me is I'm actually running effects. I'm using the built-in effects generator of the console to, to create all these different looks that you see here. Um, so this is going to be a lot faster. That leads me into another pro. It's definitely a lot faster when doing this. Um, I definitely want to point out uh, what, some of the cons doing this. Um, when you have a large stage, and perhaps you want to do big, large sweeping effects. Maybe you want to have something start from the center 
and sweep out. And you want all your different pixel mapping products to do that. That's definitely going to be more challenging if you're using a lighting desk and an effects generator. Um, that's going to be something that's going to be stronger to do with a uh, pixel mapping software because you can literally have everything on a nice GUI interface to map that. Uh, however, that's more time consuming. So if you're doing your one-off events, uh, let's say you, know, you, you pick up your gear in the morning you know, from your local rental house, bring it in, you have three hours for load-in. That includes setting up your stage, mounting your fixtures, and programming until doors. This is definitely going to be a much more friendly option for those types of events, and it's going to open up the door. Um, it's going to open up the door to more options um, out there. You know, maybe uh, if you were doing a one-off event, you wouldn't even consider doing pixel mapping because of the time it takes. However, when you consider controlling with uh, a dedicated lighting controller, this is definitely going to be something that you can now consider uh, for all your events. So to summarize everything we've gone over in this video, if you have an event and you need to synchronize your pixel mapping products with a video wall or a projector, then a dedicated pixel mapping software is certainly the route to go. However, if you're not using video for the event and all you're doing is running lighting, then you can definitely make and program an impressive show using nothing but your lighting desk. I hope you consider this for the, your next event. Thanks for uh, spending some time talking to us about this. My name is Anthony Ciappone with Showy Professional. See you next time.